the road for this. Guys, what we're doing is we're following the SWOL program with the fitness culture. So we have fitness culture programming. It's what we're doing here in the gym. I still get people asking me, Steve, do you have plans and programs? That's what fitness culture is. We have the athlete plan, we have the SWOL program, the lean program, a lifestyle program, a power program. We got you covered. So over on Fitness Culture's YouTube, which I've linked in this video, we're doing a full week in the SWOL program. This is day number five. Right now, my entire body is sore. Day one, we did quad focused. Day two was a upper body, chest, tricep day. Day three was a back and bicep. Day four, was a shoulder day and then today hamstrings now a lot of people overlook hamstrings the bicep femoris it, it's just natural that we want to train muscles that we see in the mirror more often when we train than we train muscles we don't see but the hamstrings are extremely important for multiple reasons if you're a bodybuilder you want the hamstrings to look like a nice parentheses you can picture that in your head if you're training for performance reasons hamstrings are even more important to train. Hamstrings are gonna stabilize the knee. They're involved with knee extension and hip or knee flexion and hip extension. And then also they're fast twitch muscles. They're made up of more fast twitch than let's say a lot of our other muscles. So a lot of people think, you know, if I wanna be super athletic, I need these big powerful quads. Yes, you need that. You need big powerful glutes. You know, that's gonna be an explosive muscle that we train a lot. A lot of people overlook hamstrings though. That's what's gonna really allow you to decelerate quickly, change directions, and it's, like I said, knee extension, hip flexion, all of those things are involved with running. So, today, we're gonna to be training the hamstrings from a multitude of angles, not just in a linear plane, but we're gonna go some side to side stuff. Um, we're gonna be some explosive stuff, and we're gonna be starting off with some deadlifts because the way our program's set up, it's deadlift day as well. So, we're gonna get into it right now. Welcome back to Swolger Nation. Ba -bum -bum -bum. <laughs> All right, first exercise, sumo deadlift. What better way to talk to you guys about the sumo deadlift than to bring someone who is a lot better at deadlifting than me into the picture. I get asked all the time, Steve, do you deadlift? I made the mistake of not deadlifting a whole lot. I got a long torso. Jake says I got one of the longest torsos of any six foot one people <laughs> on the planet. So Jake's gonna demonstrate, tell me how to set up for a sumo deadlift. Poundage and the sets today, we have 12, 10, eight. So we got three sets, 12 reps, 10, eight, 10, eight reps, and then eight reps. 60, 65, and 70% on each one of those sets. And then we have two minutes in between. We're gonna get into some supersets later on for these first couple exercises. They're big, heavy compound movements. So, we're, we have a little bit more rest here. It's a lot of, it's a lot of weight there. And you have the posterior chain of a silverback gorilla coming through the jungle, you do whatever you want. You don't care if there's a leopard in the way. Bow, rah, get out of the way, leopard. Just pick shit up and throw it. Trees being derooted everywhere. That's what it's like when you come in here and you deadlift with Jake. Loop next time you're not feeling motivated, huh? It's heavy for me and you guys. Not heavy if you're Jake. Cause he's a silverback gorilla coming through the jungle. It's about 600, and it'd be cooler. All right, just when you thought, oh, I got my sumo deadlifts out of the way. It's all downhill from here. Nah, 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 nah. 
we're gonna hit you guys with a Bulgarian deadlift, which the setup's the same as a Bulgarian split squat. So we're gonna have one foot back on the bench. And as we pull up, we're gonna be knee over the toe, just like you would deadlift, keep that chest as high as possible. Squeeze, you're gonna feel it in your back, your, your back glute, front quad. Squeeze here and then back down. We got six reps each leg here. Um, what, what a bad rep would look like on this, guys, is if you came up and then did like almost like a, an RDL. So again, we're not here and then pulling up. It's one movement, like a deadlift. Straight from those god awful Bulgarian deadlifts, we're into Swiss ball hamstring curl. So, this is our real first focus movement. Like I said, we're supersetting with that. Set up on a Swiss ball. I have the back of my calves and heels on it. Gonna come up, squeeze the glutes, and then with my hamstrings, curl that ball in, and then back out. All right, what we got here, we're doing a dumbbell side lunge. Biggest thing you want to think about on here is if you're stepping to the left, that off leg is straight and he's going to squat down until his hamstring and calf touch. That's how you know you've hit depth. His knee is tracking over his toe. It's not caving in and he's coming back all the way to the top. This is just at normal speed, which means it should be done under control, but we're not really focusing on a crazy long eccentric here. Supersetting the single leg dumbbell lunge with a standing calf raise. What we're gonna do here, first six reps, you're gonna go down nice and slow, stretch for two seconds at the bottom, and then back up. When you finish those six reps doing that, you have 10 normal reps, which still means you're getting a good stretch, but you're not holding it down there. Oh, I'm so glad I wore a sweatshirt today. I'm not playing at all. Talk, I'm tired right now. But Baker's shoving this camera in my face saying, Steve, here, you gotta talk. And I'm like, you know what, give me a second, okay? It's a, it's a really heavy hamstring day. And right now, we're on the GHG, and we're doing hamstring curls. Not just any kind of hamstring curls, we're doing them weighted with a six county centric. How you guys feel about that? It doesn't matter, you're doing them anyway. <laughs> This workout it doesn't get easier with each passing set. You think, oh, deadlifts, you know, sumo deadlifts, it's gonna get easier. Nope, we hit you with the Bulgarian single leg deadlifts. Think, oh, can't get any worse than this. Oh, superset, that single leg lunge, that's a bitch. Then we hit you with this six second eccentric hamstring weighted curl thing. And that's even a bigger bitch. Inevitably, it's gotta get easier, right? Does it? I don't know. Ask yourself this. This is your rest, guys. It's our superset with the hamstring curl and the GHD. It's your rest, and we're right back at it. 
In between sets, I really should be doing this. Come in and stretching it out. And then just flexing with no weight on there. So I used to do, I get a lot of questions on Steve. How do I grow my calves? Train them four days a week, alternate light and heavy days, and then in between, stretch and flex. Goes for really any body part, in my opinion. The last part of the workout, stretching, foam rolling. Make sure you guys do this post because you guys are gonna be a whole hell of a lot more sore tomorrow if you don't do it. So hopefully you guys can see why it's important to train hamstrings properly, no matter if it's just for aesthetic reasons or performance. It's gonna help you run faster, be more explosive. It's also gonna protect that knee. That's gonna help stabilize that knee. It's gonna help you stop, change direction, all those things that if you don't have a hamstring that's strong, you're gonna have that knee injury. Blown, blown ACL, MCL. So make sure you train the hamstrings. And again, we have the rest of this entire week over on Fitness Culture's page. Um, if it's Monday, it's gonna be the first day of the week, which is legs, and then we'll upload um, over the next couple weeks, the entire full week of the SWOL program. You guys can follow it along, leave a comment in this. We're back to these, this, this schedule of Monday trainer, Thursday vlog, and then Sunday, just the one take. So if you have a, a topic or an idea you guys wanna see us cover in one of those videos, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.